when we take the notion of ecojustice seriously, it causes us to stretch our ethical circles out. Uh, first of all, it reminds us that we need to care for all the people, not just our own local community or our good friends and neighbors, but that biblical theological notion of love your neighbor calls us to remember the whole world. The second expansion of the circle takes us into territory that we're not generally as familiar with and says we need to consider people of future generations as our neighbors and remember that what we do now will have a very strong impact on how people live in the future. What can those future generations demand from us? And then the third expansion of the ethical circles is to consider all of creation as our neighbors. The polar bears have an ethical claim on us and the prairie dogs, which are down to 2% of their historic populations. We have a responsibility to care for that part of God's creation as well. And it takes us back to the whole story of Noah and the Ark, where all the species were protected. And God makes a covenant with all living things, not just with the humans, but promises that all of life will be given that sort of abundance and uh, continuity.